Hi, my name is Anna Karen Perez Guzman. I am a visual artist based in Stockholm, Sweden, and with this video I would like to introduce you to When You Look Through the Glass You See, an interactive art installation about collective surveillance. The installation combines video, projections and art, and it's divided into six sections through which the audience is guided organically. The audience is faced with cameras that will capture the participants in different ways through their interactions with them. The projections of what the cameras will capture will challenge the audience's perception when they compare the perspective of the reality they see against with what the cameras see and when they compare the way the audience think they are being perceived against with what the cameras perceive of the audience. And it's through this dynamic that I want to incite reflection on the essence of the things explored in this installation. Our society is becoming more and more visual and public. Back in the days, the vigilance through surveillance cameras was something that could both make us feel perhaps safe, but uncomfortably controlled. Now it's accepted it's taken for granted and no longer reflected upon. These days, with the fashion of sharing photographs and videos of ourselves on social media, we are now becoming the perpetrators of our own watchfulness. We actively decide to be watched. Sometimes we decide by whom, sometimes we do not control that. It seems as though there is a growing need and urge to be watched and to watch others. The name of installation, when you look through the glass you see, instigates reflection and interaction as well. On the glass of a screen, you will watch other people's lives, and in order for others to watch yours, you will have to place yourself in front of the glass of a camera lens. Reality is thus filtered through this series of glasses and other factors, and it might end up being so that the resulting version of the reality we see on the screen's glass will be an altered one. I will exhort the audience to finish the phrase of the installation's title. I want them to say what they see when they see through the glass. I want them to even share what they see when they see through the glass by using the installation's hashtag WYLTTG, the initials of when you look through the glass. I will now give you a virtual tour through the six sections of the installation. Every section has a name that frames the reflection it would like to emphasize within the themes of surveillance and the interaction and observation with and through the glass. Section 1. Walking into the glass. We enter the installation through this narrow corridor where there is a black wall to the left-hand side and on the opposite wall there is a colorful wallpaper. At the end of the corridor there is a mirror and behind it there will be a camera sitting on a tripod. The camera's lens will be visible in the center of the mirror right at eye level through a hole on the mirror. The audience will enter walking towards the mirror and the camera before they exit this section. Section 2. Is reality on the glass? In this square-shaped room we will find four surveillance monitors facing the four walls and hanging from the ceiling there will be four infrared DSLR cameras, each one pointing towards one of the four walls. The four walls in this room are painted with infrared sensitive black paint. Behind the black paint there are four different images. On one wall there will be a giant human eye the size of the whole wall. On the opposite wall there will be a an image of Saturn, the all-seeing eye of the cosmos. On the other two walls to the sides, we will have an image of an ice crystal, also the size of the entire wall, and opposite to this wall, we will have an extreme close-up into the core of a flower with its symmetric shapes. When the audience stands in front of one of the walls, looking at one of the surveillance monitors, they will also be standing in front of one of the infrared cameras. On the screen of a monitor, they will see what the camera above them sees and so they will see themselves and behind them they will see a giant human eye or Saturn or a nice crystal or a flower but none of these motives will be visible to their eye but only to the infrared vision of the cameras. 
Section 3. The Infinite Face of Truth To the left hand side of this room we have an entire wall of what appears to be a mirror, but it's actually a see-through glass. There will be three cameras disposed on a row behind it at eye level. On the ceiling we'll have three projectors that will be projecting on the wall opposite to the mirror the video of what the cameras behind the mirror are capturing. The audience that find themselves between these two walls will see their own reflection and will be able to see their faces when looking towards the mirror. At the same time, without knowing it, they will also be looking towards one of the cameras. When they do that, they will have behind themselves their own image projected just as the camera sees them. This image projection of themselves will be staring at them from behind. The moment they turn their heads towards the projection on the wall, they will be staring at at their backs just as the camera perceives them. This will create an uncomfortable feeling of not being able to see themselves to the face unless they're looking into the mirror, because if they look towards the projection they have behind them, they will have to turn their face away from the camera. Another effect that will be caused by having the projection from the wall being reflected onto the mirror will be that of an infinitely multiplied image. Section 4. Reality gets fragmented on the glass. We move into a room with a series of surveillance cameras mounted on its walls and pointing towards different directions. In the center of the room there are two screens placed in vertical, back to back, one facing one side and the other one facing the opposite side of the room. There will be two cameras on top of the screens looking downwards. The video captured by all the cameras in the room room will be reproduced on the screens in a collage with angled shapes simulating a broken mirror. The audience will approach the screens to see videos of fragments of their own image, but it will be hard for them to know from which angle they are being filmed from. Section 5. No rules of time apply through the glass. In the fifth room, the video recorded by the camera in the corridor at the entrance will be projected onto a wall with a delay, provoked by the video being reproduced in slow motion. The audience might be able to see themselves as they entered the installation. They will be in front of an unexpected re-encounter. If they don't happen to see themselves, they will see someone else entering and walking in slow motion, perhaps making faces as they approach the glass, perhaps acting funny. This will make them wonder who in turn happened to see them walking in and how were they perceived. Section 6. The glass gives you your 15 minutes of fame. At the exit of installation, you will find a wall covered in selfies. These photographs will be from the audience that will photograph themselves when going through the installation and using the installation's hashtag WYLTTG. They will be invited to use it and share their photographs from the point when they enter the installation. All photographs will be projected on the wall, being the first photograph on the left-hand side at the top of the grid, the latest one that has has been shared using the hashtag and the photograph on the right hand side at the bottom will be the oldest one. So every new photo that comes onto the wall will be pushing the oldest one out. My aim is that everyone who visits the installation reflects upon the way we act, feel and think towards this fetishes and pleasures of watching and being watched. Thank you for your consideration.